Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. Today's restaurant is in Waipahu in the industrial area. It's called Scooper's Kitchen. And um, it's a small hole in the wall. And if you go onto Farrington Highway going westbound, you're gonna take a left on Leo Kane Street. And there's a Bayview Auto to your left and an Aloha Station to your right. And you go all the way down a few blocks in and you're going to see the big yellow sign saying scooper's kitchen and that's the driveway to go in um, they specialize in very affordable plate lunches uh, i like their minis i go there sometimes when i work in waipahu sometimes i'm in waipahu for work and we always go to Tonioka's, but if the line is too long and you don't want to deal with that this is the next best thing i think um, I'm going to show two mini plates that are humongous and worth every penny of your dollar. So this is one of their items today. Their menu changes every day. So you might want to call in and see what their menu is today was Lao Lao, which I already had last week. Show you chicken. Um, you can get a choice of mac salad or toss salad. And I got the toss in this one with ranch. Uh, they claim that they make all their homemade dressing. So they have ranch. Uh, French dressing and Thousand Island and you get a nice little cute brownie for dessert in this This is a mini you get two pieces of pretty good size uh, Chicken thighs for your shoyu chicken. She is nice and asks you if you want some sauce on your rice You get the rice on the bottom and I think it's a pretty good deal So let's dig into the shoyu chicken Nice juicy meat and lots of sauce. Mmm. Man, that's good. Nice tender meat falls apart like it should for shoyu chicken. And if you don't know what shoyu chicken is, it's a local staple where we just boil chicken, usually chicken thighs, in a soy sugar base. Sometimes you put anise seeds in there to give it a nice kind of Chinese flavor to it but this one has a good sugar to shoyu ratio. Sometimes people make it and there's too much shoyu and it's way too salty or strong, but this is a perfect balance. Take a scoop of rice with the sauce in it. Yum. It's cooked and simmered so long that the meat just falls off the bone like it should. It's not tough and it's really easy. You don't even need a knife. It just comes off with a fork. Okay, let's take a taste of the salad. Nice uh, baby greens spring mix. I've had their salad before or their plate lunch and I like her ranch dressing. You can tell it's homemade because it has a nice little dill taste to it. I can taste dill and it's not like your out of the bottle kind of dressing. It has a different kind of flavor to it which brings it a nice fresh taste to it. For the description it says you get one uh, scoop of rice but this is much bigger to me than one scoop of rice and I like the sauce that it's just soaking in the sauce is fabulous and it makes the rice taste really good very very flavorful what I like about scoopers too is that she's very flexible with you so if you're low carb you can get all toss salad instead of rice or um, take out the salad and put mac salad in there or just have all rice uh, they'll do whatever you request for your uh, starch or your salad and there's no extra upcharge or anything like that. Also, if you want to go and try out their food and you're not in the Waipahu area and you're more on the central side, they do have a lunch wagon in Mililani Tech Park uh, where all the other lunch wagons are by uh, Spectrum. And she says they open just a half an hour later because he packs up the food from the main kitchen and drives over there. So that lunch wagon's open at 9.30 to 1 p.m. All right, like I said, each plate lunch has a little mini brownie. It is very good, chocolatey, and very chewy and moist inside. Not the crispy kind of brownie. I like the chewy kind. And it's got a sprinkling of uh, powdered sugar on top. Mm. It just melts in your mouth and it's just pure chocolate, almost, almost like a fudge. And it's refreshing to see a little piece of dessert in a plate lunch. You never really get that um, at all, unless it's halpia in a Hawaiian plate. But it's just really nice to have a treat with your regular lunch. And this, this gives it a nice touch to their plate lunches. 
If you're wondering how much their minis are, all of their minis, no matter what you get on the menu that day, is $8. So that was $8. And to me, it doesn't even look like a mini because it looks like a regular plate lunch to me. So I can only imagine what the regular plate lunch is. It must, must be massive. Um, they also, if you're not that hungry, have a micro mini that is $6. So anything again on the menu, $6, and you get just one piece of meat. All right, our next dish is Kahlua pig and cabbage. That was on their menu today and it sounded good. If you're wondering what is all that red stuff that you poured on it, it's sriracha sauce. Um, I like spice, so you gotta spice up your life a little bit. Put some sriracha or Tabasco on it. Um, they have a pretty good condiment section on the outside so you can add it to your uh, food. You, they got shoyu, sriracha, and Tabasco and all that. So let's dig in here. That's legit. It's pretty good. The rice is on the bottom. Again, very generous portions of meat. I mean, look at this thing. Again, this is a mini. It just looks like a regular plate lunch to me. Pretty big, hefty pieces of Kahlua pig. And I like the Kahlua pig to cabbage ratio. Some places try to put more cabbage to put filler in, but this has a pretty good amount of meat in it and a good amount of cabbage. Um, it's pretty even, but I think it's more meaty, if anything. I think the taste is on point. It's not too salty. Sometimes you get Kahlua pig that's really salty or too smoky. This is perfect smoke and a little on the light smoke side, which is fine with me. I'd rather have that than like something totally smoky and unpalatable, but the salt is good on here. The seasoning, even on the shoyu chicken, everything's really well cooked. And if you're hearing little squealing noises, it's my belly being happy because I was starving and I just saved my appetite for this. I didn't have breakfast today. So it's just uh, praising the food. All right, let's try the mac salad. I wanted to get that just to show um, what it's like to get it because most people get mac salad instead of tossed. Got some nice uh, pepper in there. I see black pepper. I don't see anything else like no carrots or onions. I do taste onion in there so I think it's just very finely diced in there. Um, it's actually got a really good flavor. Um, it's not your typical just plain mayo and salt mac salad. It's got good onion flavor in there but not enough where um, I think if you hate onions and the texture of it, you wouldn't like be crunching on it. Um, so it's hidden in there really well for the flavor. And yeah, this is actually one of the better mac salads I've had. Um, not too much mayo. It's not like soupy mayo and the noodles are cooked perfect. What I like about coming here is all the meats are pretty generous, like your main entree. Like some people will try to, um, scam you and put plenty of rice and just a little bit of Kahlua pig and cabbage on top. But she is very generous. She packs it on um, and then you can see the rice underneath, but also the rice isn't too little either. They're good portions. So I think this is a fabulous deal. If you're looking for a good hearty big plate, but it's a mini for the price and you're on a budget, this is the place to go to. All right, so pretty much you know the price already, but if you're wondering again, it is $8 for that Kahlua pig and cabbage mini plate. Pretty full of lots of meat and rice and the dessert. That is so good. I'm not gonna eat this one. I'm gonna save it for later today. Uh, that's a little bit too much sugar for me today, but that brownie is the bomb, I'm telling you. Um, and like I said again, nice touch to each plate lunch to put that in there. And even though they're a small hole in the wall, they do accept credit cards. So you don't have to worry about always having cash on hand. Uh, she does accept credit cards, most major ones. And all the food is prepared and sitting in hot plates or those hot um, containers and she scoops it out. So if you're in a rush, uh, you don't have to worry. She has had it all prepared. It's like that old school kind of lunch uh, cafeteria style and she just scoops it and puts it in your plate. So you don't have to worry about waiting for it to cook or anything like that. And she does it right in front of you. The place does share a parking lot with other shops. I believe there was like a motorcycle shop. There's a bunch of motorcycles there today. Uh, but on their side, don't worry about it. When you enter, it might look crowded, but there is parking in front of uh, scoopers. So there, there was plenty of parking for me when I went around uh, 1030 today. So don't worry about it. 
And the good thing is they're open really early. So if you're looking for a early lunch and you're an early bird like me, uh, they open at nine o'clock. So you can definitely get your food if you're craving lunch items and you're up early, you can get it at nine o'clock a.m. So that was Scoopers. Wonderful service, wonderful food, and a bang for your buck. Definitely check it out if you're in the Waipahu area and you're looking for something delicious, but you're on a budget. And if you like this and you found it helpful, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week. Peace out.